Hi, we're Pixie Woo. Welcome to Stole Me Beautiful. Every week, Sam and I find an unsuspecting winner to do a hair and makeover on. Okay, let's have a look at the nomination video. This one is from Natasha for Zenobia. Let's see. A nice name. Hi, my name's Natasha. I'm 21, and my sister Zenobia is 24. At the moment, Zenobia is six months pregnant, and she's due in February, so everyone's all excited about that. But the other day, she put on Facebook saying, I feel fat and ugly, any pickup tips welcome. I just think this would be the perfect pickup for her and a surprise that she'll never forget and that's what I'm looking forward to seeing. So do you want to do the makeup on this one? I would love to, yeah I'd love to. Being in the same situation I would, uh, being six months pregnant, I'd love to get my hands on Zenobia and do her makeup. Hello, look at you two glamorous ladies. Lovely to meet you. <laughs> to meet you Hello. Hello. I'm Zenobia. Lovely Hello. to meet you. Hello. 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 Who's pregnant? Oh, that would be me, but I just <laughs> sit down. <laughs> no, wow, you really do. Yeah, I don't like to be an, a protruding oh my bump God, there's person. There, I think we're at the same spot. Oh, where, how far gone are you? Six and a bit months. Yeah, yeah. twenty-seven weeks. Your first month. Yes, it is. That'll be oh, why. <laughs> That'll yeah. be my little bump. How exciting! So we're going to give you a makeover day. I'm going to do this one. Do you mind? Oh, not for no, not at all. <laughs> lovely. What you probably don't know is that your lovely sister sent in a nomination video. Yes, she did. <laughs> okay. Um, so we picked you from that. Uh, Natasha, if you want to go off and have a coffee or something for okay. an hour or so, yeah. uh, then we'll get started. Transformation will be done. Brilliant. Are you off then? Yeah. <laughs> well, see you later. See you later. Thank you. See you later. Let's begin. Let's go. Okay. Sam, can you pass me a wipe, please? I can. My I can trusty indeed. assistant. So, who is your idol Kim, Kim Kardashian. Kardashian. Yeah. I knew yeah. she was coming I knew she was coming <laughs> okay start off with I am going to put some moisturizer on now you said your skin has got dry yeah through pregnancy oilatum is amazing I'm going to put this on your areas that are slightly drier uh -huh. which is your cheeks yeah and a little bit which oh, is exactly nice. it is so lovely which is exactly where I get it around this mm. kind of hormonal area I think yeah Sometimes, if your skin is very dry and you put a foundation on, it never gets that kind of glow that comes yeah. through. This allows the foundation to, to glow a little bit, which I like. Okay, like almost like a primer there. Yeah, well, it won't work as a primer, but it allows the foundation and the moisturiser to mix together so it's still glowing, whereas a foundation on its own can't do enough, so it will sit a bit flat on the skin. Okay. It will still absorb into the skin, so this is going to do it first, and okay. that makes Kim sense. Kim Kardashian's look is all about glowing yeah. skin, isn't it? So yeah. And that's what we that's want. That's really important. Now, what foundation do you want, Nick? Um, can I have NARS yes. Sheer Glow in whatever that one is? Santa Fe. Santa Fe. Let's give this a try and see whether we need to add something else to it. I actually don't think we will need to, Sam. Nope. Okie dokie. I want to see how the foundation sits. So by leaving it and coming back to it, we can see whether it needs touching up or whether it goes a bit dry on the skin. Okay. So let me pass you that Thank back, you. Samantha. I'm going to pop a tiny bit of concealer onto the back of my hand. Do you that squeeze brush? Thank you very much. Is that much. the one you wanted? Yeah. Just keep your eyes shut. Nick. Absolutely. I'm going to run a little bit of this just to work as a base. So is this concealer? This is concealer. I'm not going to take it too much over the lid, but I want to take it through to the brow bone. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not taking it too much over the lid because I don't want it to crease, mm -hmm. but I need to just even the colour of the eye a tiny bit where it's a little bit drier through yeah. the eye. This is a Power Surge Cold Pencil by MAC and it's just going to work as a base for the eye. Oh, okay. And I am going to run that right the way over the eye. 217, and I'm going to buff that right into the eye. And the gold in this pencil, when I put your eyeshadow over the top, is going to bring out the gold that's in the eyeshadow. Oh, okay. So it's still going to have that goldy undertone to it, but it's sti and it'd still be smoky. So it looks beautiful anyway on its own, this eyeshadow. And it'll be quite easy to recreate at home as well. It is so easy to recreate. Excellent. And quick. So we've kept the mascara on here because we didn't want to rub the eyes away too much. So there may be a tiny bit of fall down, but I haven't powdered the makeup at all, so it will make no difference to us whatsoever. I'm going to take the Power Surge pencil just under the eye as well. You look right up for me. So it's going right the way under the eye. We'll take away that little bit of redness that we get under the eye. And then use a MAC 239 
to buff that in as well. So I am going to take a little bit of Trax by MAC, which is this one here, and I'm going to run that right the way over the eye, push it over the top, and you can see it's a purple tone, but when it comes out, because of the gold that's underneath, has a lovely purpley, plummy, goldy tone. And if you just look right up for me, I'm going to do exactly the same under the eye. I'm going to keep with my other brush that you gave me, my MAC 239, okay. and I'm going to take a little bit of this one here, which is Beauty Marked, and I'm just going to go, if you close for me, from the lash line, and slightly pull upwards. So it's just giving us a little bit of a smoky corner to the eye, and then with my 217, buff it in. So I'm going to run that under the eye slightly, almost halfway, not right the way along, to add the smokiness just under the eye. And then when my sister a 263 gets me, or a 266? Doesn't matter, either one. Okay. I'm going to take the darker colour. If you just close for me. I'm going to then push that along the lash line and slightly wing it upwards. Open for me. Okay, I'm going to take Prunella eye pencil. This is like a dark purple rather than black, so I don't okay. want it to be too harsh. If you look right up for me, I'm going to take that inside the eyes. Does this feel okay? Yeah. It's horrible having someone putting it right inside the eye. Mm. Bit of concealer. I'm going to use the moisturising concealer that I used before. I'm also going to use the same brush. I'm going to take that, if you look right up for me, right under the eyes. I might go in with a lighter one as well because we want to have as much light under the eye as we can. The reason I've chosen this concealer is because it's a moisturising one. Mm -hmm. I don't want anything to sit heavy under your eyes, especially if you've been having sleepless nights, fidgety legs, mm -hmm. the works. Yeah. Then we need to keep it nice and fresh under the eyes. I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer, swipe that on the back of the hand. This is slightly lighter. And I'm going to run that through the brow bone. Just to lift that brow bone nicely. Lovely. To sort of like catch the light and this highlight is, yeah, it's it. It's to, to exactly that, exactly that. And it also makes the brows that little bit sharper as well. Okay. Um, so we can get a really nice shape there. I hear a lot about highlighting, but I never really knew sort of where to put it. Yeah. Basically, anywhere you want to stand out, okay. you'd put a lighter colour. Anywhere you want to set back, you'd put a darker colour. So I'm just taking it through the top of the brow bone as well. Mm -hmm. A little bit on the top of the cheeks. And I'm going to add a really small amount because it's a lighter colour just in here so it's going to lift that very inner part of the eye. Right I'm going to move on to brows. I've got an Anastasia brow pencil so I'm just going to use this pencil just to shape the underneath of the brow Okay. and I also want to lift it up a tiny bit through the top of the brow so we can get a bit of an arch uh -huh. and then pull it down so we can get a nice, sharper edge. So I'm then going to take my brow palette and I'm going to use a MAC 266. I'm actually going to use a lighter colour because I, it's going to set darker anyway when I put it over here. And I'm just going to brush upwards to slightly get... take that shine away from the pencil. Because I hate how pencils leave your brows really shiny. I'm going to add a little bit of blusher to the skin. This one is Harmony by MAC. It's kind of not really a blusher colour so much as it's more slightly a bronzer colour as well. I'm just going to use it to shape the cheekbone. And I'm just using a round end brush in circular motion so we can really bring out that cheekbone. I need a highlighter. Oh, you've got one there for me. Thank you, sister. You're welcome. <coughs> now, I love a contour, but we must remember to take it 
through the neck a little bit just to add a bit of shape there and so it blends so you're not left with just a line does that make sense yeah yeah you know uh -huh. how sometimes you can just get that one line that war paint line yeah. yeah so really circular motions to blend it and a little bit through the hairline as well okay so it's all blending so this is going almost where the top hairline bit is just going where the sun would get you as well yeah Nick would just touched on the fact that she only puts product on the very tip of the brush. Um, I will explain that to you. So, when she's working with a product, she just coats the very end of the brush. And then the bristles around the edge there, when it goes onto the skin, they blend the product for you. So you only need one brush to apply and blend. I'm then going to add a little bit of highlight to the cheeks. I have got this mineral powder by MAC as well. And this is going to add a nice shimmer to the top of the cheekbones. Very Kim Kardashian. It's also going to add, make the skin look that little bit healthier as well. Because we've touched on the dryness of the cheeks a tiny bit. So it's just going to give reflect the light a little bit in that area. I'm going to run it through the brow bone. And this is with a MAC 217 brush. I'm going to take a little bit of, um, this is Makeup Forever, and this is a diamond powder. Oh, wow. I just want to push a tiny bit onto the middle of the eye. Just to add a little bit of sparkle. How pretty is that? And my sister has got my lashes ready left for eye. me. Left this is eye. for the left eye, thank you very much. Key when using lashes is let the glue set. So leave the glue for a little while, just so it goes slightly tacky and it makes your life much, much easier. If you just look down for me. Pop them on and step away. Don't play with them, get away from there and then go back in and push your other two sides in. Beautiful. We are getting there. Little tiny bit of blusher to the apples of the cheeks. I think I will oh, wow. probably mix two together because I want it pinky, but I also want it a little bit corally as well. And that is going to go just on the apples of the cheeks and work back a little bit. I'm then going to take a slightly um, this is called stone and it's got no red in it so it makes the lips look a little bit fuller because I want to get a tiny bit of fullness from the lips. So just from working in the corner and pulling it round, I can get a nicer, fuller shape to the lip. Thank you. Angel lipstick. Angel lipstick, which is the colour that she wears. Huh. It's a really nice pinky tone. Gorgeous. And a bit of gloss, please, sister. Thank you very much. This is just going to take a tiny bit of the pinkness away. Uh -huh. Cause I don't want it too pink. Looks like you're nearly finished, Nick. I am. I think we are pretty much done. Time for hair? Time for hair. Mm. You look beautiful. I can't wait for you to you see do. it. You do look I can't stunning. wait to see it. <laughs>
It's an amazing surprise. Oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> I can't look. Can't no, don't make me cry. Oh, no, don't ruin it. <laughs> well, makeup. Yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, you like so it then? Nice. Oh. Oh. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to be part of this, contact at dailymix.tv yeah, and the products will be below. Yeah, like